hey guys welcome back to next channel blog and in this video i want to show you how you can create and explode text effect in bsdc free video editor so it's actually super easy to create and explode text effect in bsdc so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now first of all let's just write some text on top of our screen and so to do that go to add object go to text click on text and then click on ok now mark your text object on top of the screen like this and then click on this particular button which says set the same size as the parent has now let's write some text inside our text box so let me just write let's say explode and let me just center align my text by clicking right here let me also change the font from arial to Montserrat black and let me also increase the font size to somewhere around 250 pixels perfect now before I apply the explode effect what I would really like to do is I would like to create an outline around my text because explode effect works best when you have an outlined text and so we will create an outline around our text and so to do that first of all select your text and um, let's just increase the spacing between the letters first of all and so you will find this option called tracking so increase the value inside the tracking option to somewhere around 15 pixels perfect and now what you need to do is change the text color from white to black and change the contour color from black to white and now increase the contour thickness to somewhere around 10 pixels perfect and as you can see i've successfully created an outline around my text and now the next thing which we will do is we will double click on the text object and we will now apply the explode effect so go to video effects go to transforms select distort and then click on ok now currently the duration of my distort effect is the entire duration of my text in the timeline which is 10 seconds so decrease the duration of the distort effect from 10 seconds to just 3 seconds perfect and now look inside the distort effect settings which is present inside the properties window so as you can see inside the type option currently faceted glass is selected so click on this drop down list and select explode now explode distort effect contains two important options shift size and dynamic so as you can see inside the dynamic option currently false is selected so click on this drop down list and change this from false to true and inside the shift size first of all change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change so in constant parameter value as you can see we just have a single value 10 so when we change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change we will get two values 10 semicolon 10 perfect and now what you can do is change the values from 10 semicolon 10 to 0 semicolon thousand perfect and then press enter and so now if I just quickly play the video for you so this is the explode effect let me just quickly play the video for you once again watch my text on screen perfect what you can do is you can also reverse the values so instead of 0 semicolon 1000 what you can do is you can write 1000 semicolon 0 and then press enter and now let me just quickly play the video for you once again perfect let me just add a fade in effect at the beginning so let me just go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and then click on ok and now let me just quickly play the video for you perfect and finally 
one thing which I would like to do is I would like to add a push transition right at the end so that my text kind of gets out of the screen from the right side. And so to do that, go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. And now look inside the push settings, which is present inside the properties window. And as you can see inside the type option, currently door is selected. So click on this drop down list and select side. And inside the mode option, as you can see, right to left is selected. So once again, click on this drop down list and select left to right. And inside the gradient length option, currently the value is 50. So change the value inside the gradient length option from 50 to 0 and then press enter. Perfect. And so finally, if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the beginning. Perfect. And right at the end, my text will get pushed out. Perfect. So this is how you can actually create and explode text effect in VSTC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.